Weeks of preparation have come to this. Who will kick off the season with a bang? Hello everyone, I'm JWF1 and welcome to the first round of the Season 5 IFMC Championship. And uh, it's been, well it didn't seem that long ago since we reached the end of Season 4, but we are here at the Melbourne Grand Prix circuit in Albert Park for the running of the Australian Grand Prix. The usual uh, Kickstarter for a season. And it continues to be the starter for IFMC as well. If you into what happened in preseason testing in the past two weeks, very interesting stuff. In total, we had four different drivers topping the session. Lewis Hamilton uh, twice for Etihad. Charles Leclerc uh, topping, the, topping uh, four sessions, actually, from what I remember. Three with Etihad, once with Etihad. So Etihad have actually topped three sessions. So have El Dorado. Uh, Sebastian Vettel topped one of the sessions in Paul Ricard. And Max Verstappen even topped a session as well. So looking like it could be very close going into this qualifying session in this new era of IFMC. The first time the V12s will be in racing action, of course. And we're here for the qualifying session. And we've got bright and sunny conditions here at uh, Melbourne. And it should hopefully be quite an interesting day indeed. So we've got 35 minutes of action for this qualifying session. So I think without further ado... Let's get to the first qualifying session of Season 5. So, here we are then in the pit lane. And we're going to go to the end of the pit lane with Antonio Giovinazzi. So we will wait and get this session underway. It is, of course, a 35-minute session. Who's going to be the first to get out onto the track, of course. If you didn't see uh, back on Wednesday, of course, EMR launched their uh, their official livery. Uh, if anybody hasn't seen it, you will see it in a little bit, uh, what their livery looks like. They've also requested that Nico Hulkenberg has a change of helmet, going to his 2016 helmet, just to suit with the colour of the car. Might give you a bit of a clue uh, if anybody hasn't seen it. But we've got a Bud Light Lime, I think, coming down the pit lane. It's going to be first on track. And it's Sergio Perez, his first qualifying session as a Bud Light Lime racing driver. Here he is out on the track now, then, as he makes his way down through the first two corners on the track. And uh, Bud Light Lime, of course, struggled in uh, pre season testing. And just a note, of course, I think uh, nine of the 11 teams have brought upgrades here for Melbourne. And. Uh, well, that's a lot of teams. Only two of them not bringing them here, bringing an upgrade here to Australia. But a majority of the grid have. They're hoping that they can turn a corner in some of their paces if they can, or maybe even improve on the pace that they currently have at this stage. But Perez is out there on the track. Also on the track is the man who's replaced him at El Dorado. Shadow Claire behind him is Lewis Hamilton in the Etihad. Uh, Etihad's still looking pretty strong despite the new era, but it seems that the pack. But they might seem to have a little bit of competition in the form of the Eldorados, EMRs, and even one of the Martinis as well. Maybe even a GRM. Who knows, really, of Esteban Ocon. Verline out on track, as is Rubens Barrichello. Felix Rosenquist out there as well. Max Verstappen, Antonio Giovinazzi. Here's Sebastian Vettel in the green. EMR, this is their new livery. It is a green car. You might as well call them Green MR, as uh, Sebastian Vettel makes his way out on track in the EMR, the green EMR. Changed from white to green. So let us know what you think of this livery in general. Uh, it's to match with their sponsor, Eddie Stobart. Uh, Carlos Sainz Jr. out on the track as well for Shadow Mercedes. Stoffel Van Dorn out there as well. Here is Kevin Magnussen. He's gone out on the track as his Pierre Gasly, his first qualifying, well, his second qualifying, I should say, in the top class because he did make a one-off appearance in Season 3 with this team when uh, Leclerc was given a one-off drive at Etihad. Uh, Nico Hulkenberg out there as well with his green helmet this time, as requested by the team boss James Willows. Kind of like what Etihad did with Alonso's helmet uh, a few seasons ago, or in fact a couple of seasons, I should say. Um, you are allowed to request helmets if you want for certain drivers. Uh, there is no rules against that. I just put the 2018 ones on for anybody that doesn't request it. But you never know, of course, as uh, Hulkenberg's out there on the track. As Perez is already on a lap now then. So we go back to Sergio Perez. He's already passed Sector 1 on the track. And... Uh, Make his way around for these sweeping the corners. He'll be the one setting the benchmark of time for everybody to beat. And it is dry conditions here. Now, in the past two seasons, of course, in IFMC, we've had a wet race. Will that be the same tomorrow, of course? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, so now here comes Sergio Perez making his way through the left and right chicane on the track. As uh, he just misses the curb on the outside. Perez and heading down towards the double right-hander. As mentioned, this team has struggled in pre-season testing. Uh, clearly not adapting to the new uh, regulations. But uh, let's see if that can be turned around here in Melbourne. They kind of did last season as well when they struggled in pre-season testing. It seemed to get the pace back. Let's see if that's going to continue 
uh, onto this season as well as Perez now to makes his way round the final turn and let's see what the lap time is going to be then for Checo as he now crosses the line in the benchmark of time is going to be a 127.219. Here comes Charles Leclerc now then making his way down the pitch straight and the Eldorado will come across the line. He goes fastest by, I think that's just over a second, about Hamilton. Slots to second, uh, a little bit behind Leclerc that time by, I'm not 100%, I don't know if I read that correct. Fourth for Verline, sixth for Barry Kello, seventh for Rosenquist, fifth for Giovinazzi. Here comes Sebastian Vettel in the EMR. Let's see what Vettel can do. Across the line goes the German and he goes second fastest. So Vettel getting himself onto the front row. Here comes Carlos Sainz Jr. Making his way down the pit straight and the shadow will now cross the line. And he goes fifth fast. It's a good time there from Carlos Sainz Jr. It's P5 now for Stoffel Van Dorn. Fourth for Kevin Magnussen. Pierre Gasly crosses the line to go eighth fastest. Nico Hulkenberg slots into third. So second and third at the moment for the EMRs. And that's that in terms of the first lap. So at the moment, it is Charles Leclerc, who, proved, who was very quick in pre-season testing, continuing that good form. He's currently fastest with the two EMRs, second and third. And then it is Lewis Hamilton who rounds out the top four at the present moment. But there's still around about just over half an hour left in the session there's still plenty of time for these guys to improve if they can uh, you never know of course they could have got held up in traffic we have seen this plenty of times in qualifying over the last few seasons and uh, so who knows really. plus we've still got eight more cars to do a lap as well so we'll wait and see how those ones will blend in including the hometown favorite daniel ricardo now an etihad driver probably seeing this as his best chance probably to try and challenge for the world championship as uh, into the pits now then comes charles leclerc as he makes his way around the, uh, the chicane now then to make his way back into the pits along with everybody else and we'll wait for another set to go out in a little bit. We'll look at Hulkenberg then until somebody else is coming out because he was obviously the last to complete a flying lap. And uh, so far EMR having some good pace at the moment in the car as uh, through the right hander there then goes uh, Nico Hulkenberg as uh, he now makes his way towards the final two turns where he'll be heading back into the pits uh, this lap and uh, into the pit lane now then. He goes as he now makes his way into the pit and uh, looks like Scott Dixon for British Airways Racing is soon going to be coming out on the racetrack as, um, as uh, Hulkenberg pulls in to his uh, EMR box. As he is, that's what the top five looks like. Leclerc, Vettel, Hulkenberg, Hamilton and Magnussen. So that's how that currently looks. At this stage of qualifying, as Scott Dixon now goes out on the track with his new team, British Airways Racing. And um, they were formerly known as Monster Grand Prix, of course. Now they're known as British Airways Racing after Daniel Mokamo took over the team at the beginning of Season 4, specifically from the South African Grand Prix. But now he's got the team fully... Uh, took over and now he's had the opportunity for this season of course to change the name which he has done to British Airways Racing and uh, a lot of people surprised about that a lot of people thought they'd just change it to Macaron Motorsport like it is in GP2 but uh, clearly Daniel Macaron wanting a different approach in the top class and he's recruited two very experienced drivers so hopefully uh, get uh, the team some experience with this new name uh, practically it is a new team despite the fact that Daniel Macarma took over from the South African Grand Prix from round four but practically it is a new team really so it's pretty much another learning curve for the team as far as they are concerned as Dixon is now out on the track also out there is Max Verstappen he looked very strong of course in testing in the Martini with, with Renault power of course Martini switching from Ferrari to Renault uh, Renault's return to the series and so far it's proven to be a great swap for them at the moment but whether they can keep that up we'll have to wait and see but Verstappen definitely looked stronger between him and Antonio Giovinazzi Kimi Raikkonen out there as well for Suomi Grand Prix Valtteri Bottas coming out on the track for El Dorado as is Will Power George Russell the hometown favourite Daniel Ricciardo is now out on the track looking to give the fans Something to smile about, like he does usually anyway. As uh, Also on the track is Antonio Giovinazzi for Martini. Esteban Ocon out there as well, as is Rubens Barrichello. Charles Leclerc, the current pole sitter, back out onto the track, as is Roman Grosjean. Sergio Perez out there as well, as Dixon starts lapping. Rosenquist has actually just come out as well, so they're the 14 out this time by. Dixon makes his way around the flat out turn five, as he'll now make his way up towards the end of sector one now then. Through the right, left. And right he goes through this long sweeping turn eight, a flat out turn eight, this right hander is, before he slows it down towards turns nine and ten. It actually goes around the actual road, which is that uh, little bit of tarmac you saw on the right there. That's the road. This part is just part of the circuit itself. As now through the long sweeping 
a little left he goes before making his way into the quick left right chicane a lift through there and then maybe flat through the exit or maybe to the left depends how your car set up for that right hander now up towards the final four corners we go on the track dixon's already past the end of sector two he's now into sector three let's see what this lap time is going to be then for british air for the british airways racing driver of scott dixon now then as he makes his way into the final two corners and then into the final turn goes the kiwi and riding on board with dixon now then as he makes his way down the pitch straight and scott dixon is going to cross the line can he where's he going to go he goes 12 fastest at this stage is felix rosenquist in the mars grand prix car mars grand prix look to have turned the corner in pace can they keep that up here in melbourne as felix rosenquist actually starts a lap as verstappen six temps up on was that on leclerc i'm not 100 sure it could be on his own time i'm not 100 sure i don't know why it said six temps because uh usually that means it's their personal best on the steering wheel but uh, verstappen hasn't started the lap so what a weird one but let's see anyways verstappen now they makes his way around the final turn and max verstappen now then is going to come across the line. He has set a time, actually. I do apologise. He didn't set a very good first lap, though. But he goes up to fifth with that lap. So, Verstappen up into P5 for the moment. As now, we look at Kimi Raikkonen. Across the line, he goes. And he goes second fastest. Onto the front row goes Kimi Raikkonen. A good time for him. We didn't see much of the soil in pre-season testing. As his fellow compatriot slots to fourth with that lap. Will Power goes to 15th. Here comes George Russell in the Mars Grand Prix car and he slots to 17th. Daniel Ricciardo across the line to go second. He gets the Etihad onto the front row. So Ricciardo up into second place in front of his home crowd. Antonio Giovinazzi crosses the line to go sixth fastest. A P6 for the Italian. Esteban Ocon crosses the line, goes 10th. So he gets into the top 10 with that lap now then. Rubens Barrichello holding up Charles Leclerc at the moment. Barrichello crosses the line, remains in 20th. Leclerc does not improve by three seconds. Barrichello really holding him up. 15th for Grosjean. What about teammate Perez? He remains 12th. With that lap, Dixon going back into the pit. We'll, know, we'll go to uh, Rosenquist, who's on our lap actually now then. Into the final two turns goes the Season 4 IFMT GP2 champion. Let's see what Rosenquist can do then on this lap as he makes his way down the pit straight and across the line goes Rosenquist and he goes up to 21st. So that's that for him, really. As uh, Verstappen makes his way back into the pits. Only nine for the moment for him. Currently, Antonio Giovinazzi out qualifying the Dutchman at this stage as uh, Verstappen makes his way back into the pits and through the right hand that he goes makes his way through this chicane and uh, he's going back into the pits this time by then so at the moment it is still the clear that is currently fastest we're expecting Hulkenberg to come out in a little bit as uh, they're as Hamilton and Hulkenberg are down he's seven eight in the moment not the way they wanted to start at the moment clearly looking for a little bit more improvement in the car if they can it's also in is Valtteri Bottas, currently fifth at the moment, being outpaced at the moment by Charles Leclerc. Leclerc did outpace him in pre-season testing as well, so it's not something that we're not familiar with already, as um, no disrespect to Valtteri there intended, but uh, that, has what, that is what we have seen so far in pre-season testing. As here is Felix Rosenquist, who's going to be coming back into the pits this lap. As we wait for another set of cars to come out onto the racetrack. Uh, so Rosenquist now that makes his way through the long sweeping right hand that he will go as Hulkenberg now that makes his way out on the track again as he's currently 7th and he's now going back out there Hulkenberg out on the track as he now makes his way through the first few turns on the racetrack and uh, so now makes his way up towards turn 3 he will soon go and uh, so now into the right hand that we go and that's that really. Not only is it the first race of IFMC this weekend, we also have on Monday the preseason test for IFMC GP2 taking place yet again at the Circuit de Neves Manny Core Circuit. And uh, you'll be seeing the GP2 drivers in action at the moment. And um, so expect a launch video hopefully uh, tomorrow on Sunday or a few, uh, like a couple of hours before testing begins on Monday. So do expect that. So either tomorrow or Monday, you should get a launch video for the liveries for IFMC GP2. So be aware of that as Hulkenberg now then makes his way up towards the left right chicane on the racetrack. Lewis Hamilton back on the track, desperate to improve upon eighth place at the moment. Scott Dixon out there as well, as is Stoffel Van Dorn in the AMP. Pascal Verline out there as well, as is fellow compatriot Sebastian Vettel, currently fourth. Daniel Ricciardo on the front row at the moment, he's back out, as is Esteban Ocon, Will Power, Kimi Raikkonen out there as well. 
And we'll be expecting Kevin Magnus and George Russell, Roman Grosjean and Valtteri Bottas to join these guys in a little bit. As Hulkenberg makes his way around the final turn to start his next flying lap now then as he makes his way down the pit straight across the line. He will go. Sparks come out the back of his car. Luckily for him, the two cars that are coming out on the left-hand side of him there are not going to hold him up. Through the first two turns then goes Nico Hulkenberg. As he now makes his way down this straight now then before approaching turn number three on the track. Through the uh, the right hand that he goes. As just misses the curb on the outside. Flicking it in through the left hander. As uh, now flat out through turn five he will go. And let's see what his second. Let's see what he can do now then. As he just comes out of sector one now then. So far a tidy lap now then for Nico Hulkenberg. Uh, green pretty much matching his nickname of course. The Hulk. Uh, mainly because the first four letters of his name. He does call himself the Hulk. As uh, now through turns 9 and 10 we go. As he now makes his way through the left hand. Hulkenberg, of course, getting one victory last season, of course, in the EMR. Obviously being retained this season. I think it's the first time that, uh, well, since uh, season uh, 2, really, that they've retained their lineup from the previous season. Uh, of Vettel and Hulkenberg. Clearly a strong lineup from last season, and they've continued on with them this season. As Hulkenberg now makes his way through that right hander. Up towards the final three turns, then. Will come Nico Hulkenberg. Let's see what the EMR driver can do. He's currently seventh. He's looking to find a little bit more time to improve on as he makes his way around the final corner and onto the pitch straight now. Then goes Nico Hulkenberg and across the line goes the German. Can he improve? And he can, but only up into sixth. So he's only really gained one place at the moment. Bartas, Russell, and Magnussen and Grosjean just about to uh, finish a lap there. We now look at Lewis Hamilton. He's already just gone out of sector two. We've only just caught him on towards the end of sector three. Let's see if he can improve. He's currently eighth at the moment, and he desperately needs to try and find some time to improve. The defending champion now then rounds the final two turns. Hamilton now then round the final corner and onto the pitch straight. He will go then. Lewis Hamilton is about to power across the line. Can he improve on his lap? And yes, he can, but only up to sixth. So not the best lap for him at the moment. Dixon up into 18th so far, being outpaced by his new teammate, Ricardo, which we haven't seen much of in testing. Still 13th for Verline. Still, sorry, for Vandal. Still 17th for him. Still 4th for Vettel. Still 2nd for Ricardo. Still 10th for Ocon. Kimi Raikkonen remains further at the moment. He's doing a good job. Looks like Suomi's turned a corner in pace. Power doesn't improve. Remains 19th at this stage now, then, as we look at Hulkenberg. He makes his way around the chicane now, then. He's heading back into the pits. And we now look at Bottas, actually, who's out on a lap as he makes his way around the right-hander. Sparks coming out the back of the Eldorado now, then, as he makes his way into the right-hander. As he gets the car in there now, then, flicking it through this next right-hander we go. And let's see what Bottas can do. As, um, let's see what his lap is going to curtail as Hulkenberg in front of him comes back. Into the pits. Bottas now then down the pit straight. Currently fifth. Getting the fin improve. Across the line. Goes Valtteri Bottas. And he cannot improve. Remains fifth for the moment. George Russell across the line. And remains 20th at the moment. Still 11th for Kevin Magnussen. Got a little bit held up there by George Russell. Here comes Roman Grosjean. Across the line goes the Bud Light Lime. And he goes up to 13th. So a slight improvement for him. Hamilton going back into the pits. And uh, that's that in terms of those laps I think. As uh, Yep. So at the moment it is still... Charles Leclerc at the top of the timing sheet. Still looking to try and get his and El Dorado's first ever pole position in the top class. And looks like El Dorado have a very strong car on their hands this season, it must be said. And, uh, well, they want to be challenging for the championship. And uh, they hope that they can this season in the new era. As now, Grosjean now that makes his way around through these section of corners. Swooping it in through the right-hander. As uh, Grosjean now, they will be heading back into the pits. This lap now then as he makes his way through the right left chicane. As he gets close to the wall on the outside. Round this left hander he goes. As, uh, through the next chicane then we go. And uh, is anybody else now out on the track? Yes, Carlos Sainz Jr. coming out. Currently 15 for the moment in the shadow. So Sainz now then out on the track. As he makes his way through these first few turns on the racetrack. And uh, so now down the straight. We go now then as he approaches the third corner on the track. How many minutes we've got to go left? We have just over 17 minutes to go in this qualifying session to determine the grid for tomorrow's Australian Grand Prix. And uh, signs now then through turn five, preparing himself to start his next flying lap. Rubens Barry Keller has also joined him as well in the British Airways racing car. So he's out there now then 
And we're expecting Perez, Verstappen, Giovinazzi, Magnussen, Leclerc, Gasly, uh, who's this, Rosenquist, Hulkenberg, and Hamilton to join these guys in a little bit. As Sainz makes his way out of the turn now then. Through the next left hand, there we go. Uh, so Sainz will soon approach the left right chicane. The big spots coming out the back of the shadow. Through the left, then the right. Using, well, just missing the curb actually on the outside as Sainz makes his way down towards the final four turns on the racetrack. Through the right hand, he goes now then. As he will now make his way up towards the final three corners on the racetrack. And up towards the final two turns goes Carlos Sainz Jr. Preparing for his next flying lap now then into the final corner. And on to the pit straight he will go. As Sainz now then starts his next flying lap. Making his way down the pit straight and then heading down towards turn one on the racetrack. Through turn one then into turn two we will go. That's now heading down the straight we go. And uh, so now into the uh, the right hander now then we go through the right then into the left hand there we go and then into turn five uh, we will soon go now then flicking the car in using the curve a little bit on the outside as he now as Sainz makes his way out of sector one now then he's hoping that that AMP in front of Stoffel Van Dorn is not going to hold him up this time by Sainz flicks it through this right hander and then into turn number nine and ten will go the only spaniard now on the grid let's let's not forget that of course we did have fernando alonso now he's at indycar signs now the only spaniard on the grid uh left kind of like what fernando alonso was before signs made his debut uh last season actually so this is his second season in the top class it could have been his third season if uh, if the uh, now defunct thomas cook sport team or as they're known as red bull audi or as they're known now as red bull academy um didn't uh, chop him off uh, during preseason testing to make way for Mark Webber. But uh, Sainz now in the car and uh, obviously showing some impression. But Sainz now then up towards the final turn. Let's see what his, uh, for his next flying lap is going to curtail. Uh, Sainz now then is going to cross the line and he goes up to 14. So he does a little bit of an improvement there that time by Sebastian Vettel. Is he on a lap? No, he's about to start one a bit. Same as Will Power. Barry Keller is on a lap now then as he goes into the final two turns. And now up towards the final corner then goes Rubens Barrichello. Let's see if he can improve. Currently in last place. Can he get out of that dreaded place? The Brazilian veteran crosses the line and he goes up to 21st. So he pushes, I think, Rosenquist down to the back of the pack at this stage. As here comes Charles Leclerc on the lap, the current pole sitter. Let's see if the Monegas can improve on this lap now then. As Leclerc makes his way round the final turn and onto the pitch straight he will go. As Leclerc now then is going to cross the line. Can he improve? And no, he can't. He's on a 1 minute 26.117. Here comes Nico Hulkenberg now then. Across the line will go the German. Can he improve on 7th place? Nope. Remains 7th at this stage. Felix Rosenquist goes up to 20th. So an improvement for him there then. Gasly remains 16th with that lap. Here is Antonio Giovinazzi in his new team. Martini across the line. Can the Italian improve? No, he can't. Remains 8th for the moment. Lewis Hamilton goes up to third, so P3 now then for Lewis, second and third for the Etihad, as uh, still 17th for Pascal Verlaine, still 12th for Sergio Perez, up into seventh goes Max Verstappen, so a slight improvement there then from the teenage Dutchman, as here is Stoffel van Dorn now then, making his way down the pitch straight, and the Belgian will cross the line, and he remains 15th for the moment, signs back in here, Sebastian Vettel currently fifth for the moment in the EMR, looking to improve if he can, as Vettel now then makes his way into the final corner and down the pitch straight he will go Vettel now then across the line can the German improve and no he can't remains fifth for the moment here comes Will Power as he remains 19th at this stage Barry Kello into the pits as uh, anybody else on a lap uh, doesn't appear like it at this stage so still Leclerc at the top followed by the two Etihads of Ricardo and Hamilton and then it is in fourth, I believe, Kimi Raikkonen, followed by Sebastian Vettel in fifth position. And then uh, who is uh, sixth for the moment? I can't 100% remember off the top of my head, but it'll probably come to me. if uh, There we go then. So it is Leclerc, R Ricardo, Hamilton, Raikkonen, Vettel. Uh, who is sixth for the moment? That's what I want to know. Can we see it from Hulkenberg, perhaps? Let's have a look. Uh, yes, Bottas sixth, Verstappen seventh. Hulkenberg 8th, Giovinazzi in 9th position, 
And then rounding out the top 10, I think it might be Esteban Ocon. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think it's Ocon. It's currently rounding out the, uh, the top three. We've got Scott Dixon now then out on the track for British Airways Racing as he now makes his way into turn four and then into turn five we'll go. And whilst we're looking at Dixon, of course, if you didn't see on Twitter uh, yesterday, actually, as I posted it, we will be making an announcement on Tuesday at 4 p.m. GMT. Hopefully, depends if plans change on that day. If it's later than 4 p.m. GMT, I will let you know, but um, it shouldn't be. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed on that. So, uh, yeah, there is an announcement on Tuesday. It will be live on Twitch like it has been with previous announcements. So, what do you think the announcement will be? Let us know. As... Uh, we look at Scott Dixon now then he makes his way into the left right chicane on the track and uh, so now up towards the final four turns then we go on the racetrack and uh, so now up towards the final three corners then we'll go Scott Dixon through the right hand there he goes and then into the final two turns we'll go Dixon now then as he prepares himself to start his next flying lap as he now makes his way into the final turn and onto the pitch straight, he will go. A few cars coming out on the track just in front of me there you just saw on the camera angle. Heading down the pitch straight now then as Dixon makes his way now then down towards the first two turns on the racetrack. Through turn one then through turn two. His teammate Rubens Barrichello has just peered into view in the background. He's just come out onto the track so Barrichello is expected to start a lap in a little bit in the number 43 British Airways racing car. Through turn three then into turn four now then goes Dixon. So far, a clean lap for the Kiwi as he now makes his way flat out through turn five. And now heading into the next section of corners, we will now go. Dixon slowing the car down through turn six, seven and eight now then. As he looks to improve upon, what's he, where is he currently? Currently in 18th, looking to try and improve on that if he can. Through the right and left hander he goes. As now, Dixon now then. Round the long swooping left hander he goes as he makes his way up towards the left right chicane through the left then the right hander he goes and uh, Dixon now then making his way down towards the final four corners on the racetrack let's see if the Kiwi can improve as uh, so he just goes out of that turn now then through the final three turns goes Scott Dixon let's see if he can improve on his 18th place through the left hander he goes and then up towards the final corner goes the Kiwi as he will now head down the pit straight and across the line goes Scott Dixon. Can he improve on his lap now then? And no, he can't. Remains 18th with his lap. He's got one more flying lap to do in a bit. Barry Kello is on his last one at the moment. Uh, going through the few cars are about to start a lap. Here is the hometown favourite, Daniel Ricciardo, currently on the front row. Looking to see if he can try and knock Leclerc off the top of the timing sheets if he can. As Ricardo now then finally showing the pace that seemed to be lacking in testing, it must be said. Uh, he was languishing around about 6th, 7th, 8th during the preseason test, the ones he competed in. Uh, only time he got up to second was in day one when the Etihad's made it 1 and 2, Hamilton ahead of Ricardo. But Ricardo finally showing that pace that seemed to be lacking, as I mentioned, in preseason testing. And uh, so far doing a good job in front of his home fans. I don't know if it's because of the uh, the home support or what, but uh, Ricardo seems to be turning a corner. As Ricardo now then across the line he goes, and he remains second. No improvement, still not able to beat the clay off the top. He was only, I think, just under a tenth in front of Ricardo. So quite close, it must be said. Here is Pierre Gasly now then, who is about to start off, as you say. So we now look at Valtteri Bottas in the Eldorado. As of the final turn, he goes, and Bottas now then across the line goes the Finn. Can he improve? No, he can't. Remains sixth with that lap. Kimi Raikkonen, his fellow compatriot, remains fourth as uh, Giovinazzi is about to start a lap. Here is George Russell now then in the Mars Grand Prix cars. He rounds the final turn. Russell now then will come across the line. Let's see if he can try and improve on this lap. He can't. He remains 21st for the moment. Still 10th for Esteban Ocon. Here is Carlos Sainz Jr. and he remains in 14th position. Here's Rubens Barrichello. Can he get out of that dreaded last place? And no, he can't. He's far, far a lap. He will start at the back of the grid in his first IFMC race in the last place to be exact. So not a good qualifying for the Brazilian veteran. Here is Roman Grosjean now. They're making his way into the final two turns. And let's see what Grosjean could do then on this lap now. Then as the Frenchman 
We'll cross the line. Can he improve? And no, he can't. Remains 13 for the moment. His teammate on his final final lap remains 12. So still struggling are the two Bud Light Limes. As Magnussen goes up to 10th, so he gets his Suomi into the top 10. As uh, did the clear. As Verstappen goes up to third. Verstappen up into third place in the Martini. A big improvement on his final final lap. He gets up to P3, splitting the two Etihads at the moment. So he pushes Hamilton, the defending champion, down into fourth place. So a good lap there for Max Verstappen. Here is Pierre Gasly now. They're making his way into the final two turns let's see what the frenchman can do and uh, gasly now then down the pit straight and pierre will now cross the line can he improve upon his 16th place and no he well he does improve on his lap but not on position he remains 16th for the moment it's still ninth on the final flying lap for antonio giovanazzi so the martinis are done for the day sec third and ninth for the moment for the italian team as uh that's that for them, really, as Leclerc, the current pole sitter, out to finish off his final flying lap as we have just over six and a half minutes to go in this qualifying session to determine the grid for tomorrow's Australian Grand Prix. Leclerc now then through the flat-out right hand that he goes. As uh, now he will make his way into the next right hand and now they're on the racetrack. And uh, Leclerc now then through the right hand that he goes as he will now make his way up towards turns uh, 9 and 10 on the racetrack through the right and left hand he goes and uh, Leclerc now then swooping it in through the left hander as he prepares himself to start his next flying lap and uh, through the left then the right and uh, so now up towards the final four turns will go Leclerc as he prepares himself to start his next flying lap and then up towards the right hand we go. And then into the final two turns we'll go uh, Charles Leclerc to the left and then into the final turn. And uh, Leclerc now then starting his next flying lap as uh, anyone else on the track. We've got Felix Rosenquist out there, Lewis Hamilton looking to see if he can try and improve and dethrone Leclerc off the top. Sebastian Vettel out there as well. And we'll also have Ricardo, Will Power who's waiting for... Um, Gasly to go back in. Raikkonen, Russell, Verl. Oh, there's a bit of a contact in the pit lane there between the Martini, Giovinazzi, and Verline. So, a bit of a collision there in the pits. Hulkenberg, Verline, Ricardo, Russell, Van, and etc. The list just goes on and on. It just goes very quickly for me. We'll now look at the man who's on a lap at the moment. The first to do a flying lap out of this group. Charles Leclerc. As he now comes out of sector one now then. Currently on the pole. And he's on his final flying lap. Of course, all things looking good at the moment for... Uh, the El Dorado of Charles Leclerc and uh, of course there is a little bit of a fear in the back of the head but I have been told by El Dorado team boss Robert Ionescu he has said to me in a private interview that he has mentioned that um, if a callback was to happen with Charles Leclerc um, because he is an Etihad driver uh, then uh, he has mentioned that the callback probably won't happen uh, because apparently Oliver has mentioned this, this is apparently rumours, apparently the callback won't happen until the second half of the season, if it were to happen, so that's that really, We that's that's the rumours we've got at the moment, that's apparently what Robert Ionescu said, as uh, now, I don't know why he said interview with me, uh, that's a rumour that's going on around, so um, that kind of clarifies what I said last week anyway. As Leclerc now then crosses the line and he doesn't improve. Remains on a 126.117. But so far on the pole position as he fi finished off there. His final uh, final uh, flying lap. As here is Felix Rosenquist now. Then coming around the left right chicane on the racetrack. And um, here, is, here is now uh, the final four turns on the racetrack. He will go. Luckily for him. Stoffel Van Dorn in front is not going to hold him up as the Swede now then, the Season 4 IFMC GP2 champion, makes his way up towards the final two turns. Let's see what he can do as he makes a mistake there out of the second last turn, probably pushing a bit too hard and uh, catching two wheels onto the grass there. And uh, that's lapped ruin there then for the Swede and he's going to remain 20th on his final flying lap. Here is Esteban Ocon preparing himself for his final lap. Same with Daniel Ricciardo. Here's teammate Lewis Hamilton currently in fourth place can he improve the defending champion now that makes his way into the final two turns Hamilton now then on his final flying lap 
as he comes around the final turn and onto the pitch straight goes Lewis Hamilton as he's now going to cross the line. Can Hamilton improve? And no, he can't. Remains in fourth, so not the best way for him to start the defence of his title. It's only fourth for Lewis Hamilton. Sebastian Vettel crosses the line and remains in sixth. So not the best of qualifying for EMR. I bet they were expecting a little bit more considering the, uh, the pace they showed in pre-season testing. Here is Will Power. Unless it's just a track, you never know, of course. But Will Power now, that makes his way into the final two turns. Let's see what Will Power can do as he makes his way into the final turn and onto the pitch straight. He will now go and Power now then crosses the line. Can he improve upon his 19th place? No, he can't. Remains 19th with that lap. As up into 17th goes Scott Dixon, so a slight improvement as Hulkenberg remains 8th, so only 6th and 8th for the EMR. 18th still for Verline, still 5th for Kimi Raikkonen. With that lap as Valtteri Bottas is about to start a lap in a bit. Here comes George Russell, currently 21st. Can the young Brit improve? Across the line he goes and he remains in 21st but improves on his best time. So that's that for his final flying lap. As Van Dorn goes up to 12th. So a big improvement there then for the AMP. Gets up to 12th on his final flying lap. But still not ideal for AMP at the moment. As here comes Esteban Ocon heading out of the final turn. And let's see what he can do. Sorry for the drop of frames. As uh, he improves but remains in P number 11 as Grosjean now then goes out on the track. Here's Daniel Ricciardo on his final flying lap. Can he improve? Across the line goes the Australian and he does improve but remains in second place and then able to overhaul Leclerc that time by. As, uh, as Grosjean actually cut it a bit late to go out onto the track. We now look at Bottas actually who's on a lap as now he comes up towards the right left chicane. Just over a minute to go now then and Bottas on his final flying lap now then. As he makes his way down the straight, up towards the final four turns on the racetrack. And into the right hander he goes. And then up towards the right hander now then will go Valtteri Bottas. And uh, so now into the final two turns. Let's see what Valtteri Bottas can do then on this lap as he makes his way into that final turn. Just over 30 seconds to go in this qualifying session. Bottas across the line. Can he improve? No, he can't. Remains in seventh place. Still split the two EMRs at this stage. As a Grosjean, has he cut it late to actually start another flying lap? Let's see now. There's 17 seconds left on the clock. He's up towards the final two turns. It's going to be tight, I think. As Grosjean now then makes his way around the final turn. Heading down the pitch straight. Has he just got enough to do another flying lap? Five, four, three... Two, one, zero. Checkered flag is out, and that is the end of the session. Grosjean just made it in the end, and he's the only one doing a flying lap now. Then, so Grosjean just had enough time in to do one more flying lap. It's Grosjean now that makes his way up towards the turn three on the track. Still looking for some time to improve in the car if he can. Through the left hander he goes now, then just missing the curb on the outside of turn four. Through turn five he goes flat. He goes as he will now approach. The next section of corners on the racetrack now. Then through the right, then the left, and then into the right hander. Then goes Roman Grosjean. And then up towards turns 9 and 10 on the racetrack goes the Frenchman. He looks to try and find a little bit of time to improve if he can. Out of the turn now, then flicking it through this swooping left hander on the racetrack. Up towards the left right chicane. We will go sparks coming out the back of the Bud Light line. Through the left, then the right. And then uh, just missing the curb on the outside now then as he'll make his way up towards the final four corners on the racetrack. Grosjean now then through the right-hander as he'll now make his way up towards the final three turns then. Grosjean through the right-hander up towards the final two corners goes the Frenchman. Let's see if Grosjean can improve now then into the final corner and onto the pitch straight goes Romain Grosjean. As he will now come across the line. Can he improve on his lap now then? And no, he can't. He remains 14th. And there you have it then. So after all of that, it is Charles Leclerc who has taken pole position for the first race of Season 5. He takes pole position here in Australia. A fantastic lap from Charles. He takes his and El Dorado's first ever pole position in the top class. What a result for them indeed. So after all of that, here is the grid for tomorrow's Australian Grand Prix. Charles Leclerc on pole position with Daniel Ricciardo in second. Max Verstappen third. Lewis Hamilton fourth. Kimi Raikkonen fifth. Sebastian Vettel sixth. Valtteri Bottas seventh. Nico Hülkenberg eighth. Antonio Giovinazzi ninth. Kevin Magnussen in tenth. Followed by Esteban Ocon eleventh. Stoffel van 
on 12th. Sergio Perez 13th with teammate Roman Grosjean in 14th. And if we scroll down the rest of the field, it is Carlos Sainz Jr. 15th. Pierre Gasly, his teammate 16th. Scott Dixon 17th. Pascal Verlein in 18th position. Followed by Will Power, 19th, Felix Rosenquist in 20th, George Russell, 21st, and Rubens Barrichello, 22nd, and last. So there you have it then, guys. That is the grid for the Australian Grand Prix. I hope you've enjoyed this qualifying session. A very thoroughly exciting one indeed. And that is it for today's live stream. I hope you've enjoyed it. We will see you then, guys, tomorrow, hopefully at 1 p.m. GMT. As you've seen on the graphic, it could change depending on other commitments that might happen tomorrow. And if that is the case, I will let you know either later tonight or tomorrow morning if there is going to be a change in terms of what time the race will be on. But for now then, I have been JWF1. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the 58-lap Australian Grand Prix. Until then, take care.